So there's a lot coming up for today. So we hope you really enjoy it. We hope you get lots out of it. And it's now a great pleasure to introduce our first speaker of the day. Now he, of course, is the chairman of REACH. He, like many of you, found out about REACH when his uh, son Robbie was born 23 years ago, and he was recommended by a health visitor to find out more. He then took on the role of chairman 12 years ago, and he was saying that the excitement of being chair was the opportunity to really get involved, and along with a fantastic committee that he had with him, in fact, a lot of the things they set up in those days are actually very much the founding roots and the founding stones of what you actually see today. He returned to the chair in 2012 with a very different perspective and his involvement with other charities gave him even bigger experience of lots of ideas to bring to REACH. So it's a great pleasure to welcome the chairman of REACH, Nigel Tarrant. Thank you everybody and uh, welcome. Um, yes, I'm Nigel Tarrant, I am your chair. Um, at least until our next business meeting at the end of November, uh, when I'm going to hand over to, uh, hopefully to Gary, if uh, everybody agrees. Um, so Gary is around as well, and I hope that uh, you'll be talking to us and telling us about your ideas and uh, what, what's important to you. I'm ultimately responsible for your weekend um, and your well-being, so uh, please tell me if uh, there's anything uh, that you want, need, and want to see happening in the future so that we know uh, directly from you what, what sh we should be doing. So I just want to say a bit about all the people who've worked really hard to put this together. Um, jo Dixon has been immense. Um, I don't think she's run away and hidden at the moment, but Jo and Abby, a colleague in the office, do such a lot, which is unseen, uh, I've never seen them coming, looking quite so relaxed to the event. Last year was uh, a bit hectic. It was all new for them. Um, we'd all had to take over things at the last minute, and uh, we got there on a wing and a prayer. But uh, this year, I hope that you'll see that we're calm, organized, and uh, as you see, they've moved me to the side to let Alastair do the presentation so that I don't upset anyone or make any mistakes. So uh, that's good. <laughs> Which, is, which happens a lot. <laughs> um, so thank you very, very much, Joe and Abby, uh, for everything you've done. And also Sean, who's going to, uh, who is responsible for the dinner tonight. We hope that as many of you will come as possible and have a great time. This is a social weekend, as well as a learning experience for everyone. And we want you all to get the most out of it. So thank you very much, Sean. Um, for all you do. I haven't got my glasses up here and so I can't see anybody really, but uh, I can read my bits here. So, um, James, you've really upped the game this year again. Um, thank you for you and your team and uh, for putting all this together. I know that other charities who come along to our events look at this with huge envy and uh, we don't pay half as much as it should cost and you put an awful lot into it. So. Thank you very, very much. And he's open to uh, organizing other events if anybody's uh, <laughs> keen to do that. So, uh, um, Gary, who is probably taking over as chair, subject to uh, what happens at the next meeting. Um, and so I wish him an awful lot of luck uh, moving this forward. He's done the chair role before, and um, it's, it's important that we have someone who's gonna really get everyone together and get things moving forward and uh, I, I trust him. I know that he does the detail while I do the bigger bigger picture. So we need to work together on this and uh, he'll do a good job. Um, the ex exhibitors, we've got more exhibitors than ever before this year um, and uh, it's good to see them all here supporting us and we hope that you've enjoyed going around and looking at the exhibitions and you will do during the day. And very much to our speakers. Um, it's, uh, a, it, it's stressful for uh, all the speakers. They're all, well, most of us are young and uh, not that experienced in standing up speaking. And it's, um, it, it's important that we, we get that uh, good flow of new people coming and uh, giving us a new perspective on things. Um, but 
most of all, it's just great to see such a big audience here again. Um, it, it really makes it all worthwhile to see all of you here, so thank you very much for coming. Um, just a little bit about the purpose of the weekend. It is a family weekend. Um, we want all of you to enjoy it. Uh, we want you to enjoy being together with your children, with your families, and with everyone else here, the Reach family as well. So listen, talk, laugh, cry if you want to. Um, we will understand. Uh, there are no questions you can't ask. Most, a lot of the older people, like me, the parents, and a lot of the young adults here, um, have, we've all been through everything that you new parents who have come here for the first time are worried about. So ask us, talk to us, you know, hear it from the horse's mouth, and you can't do anything wrong. There are no questions you can't ask. So please make sure that you have a, you know, you, ha you take the opportunity of seeing everyone together and enjoying the kids being together. Um, last year when I was up here, I sort of stood to one side and uh, tried to be less noticeable, and I got this uh, leaflet uh, about the Everest base tramp, uh, camp trek uh, thrust into my hand, and although I tried to move out the way, um, I said I'd do it, and uh, it's now only a week and a half away. Um, you can see that I've trained hard. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's any bars on uh, in the pool there. but uh, So we're off to Simon, who's here as well, Simon Webster and I, off to, um, oh, he's just here, there we are, are off to uh, Everest Base Camp, raising money for reach on the way. And uh, I'd like to say I'm nervous and everything, but actually I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so excited. But <laughs> at, at least it will stop me having to walk to work three and a half miles and three and a half miles well, I was back again every day, so, which is getting a bit time-consuming, so uh, I should be glad to get it done. But um, Robbie, my son's coming as well, um, so uh, he can carry my bag and look after me for a change, which uh, will be fun for me. Um, and I've told Simon that if I'm slow, he's just got to leave me behind and walk on. So it's his second time to try and get there, so he's really determined. So... Uh, I won't be chair next time. Um, I am definitely standing down this year and not coming back again. Um, as you heard, it's now, well, 23 years, 24 years, um, and it's time for a change. Um, I joined the management committee, I think 1993. I looked back through all my old pile of Reach magazines to see when I first appeared on the management committee stuff. And we've been through a big, long journey in that time and uh, I'm quite proud to see so many people coming along to see that we're still going we're doing our core business really well we'll talk more about our business and what we do in the AGM just after uh, the, the break at lunch so I hope that you won't all rush away for that and go and enjoy the spa and the other things and you will stay and listen to the business side of what goes on in reach but um, there is a lot goes on apart from these sort of big events. And as always, our mission is to do them as well as we possibly can. Uh, we don't get it right all the time, um, but we do try hard and we do have an ambition to, be, to put on the best family weekends ever. And uh, so uh, please enjoy them and please help us to do that. Um, back to today, uh, in case you haven't read all the stuff in your little red reach folder. Um, the stuff in there is important. Um, this morning we have three speakers. Then we have lunch between 1 and 2.30, time to mingle and talk. We come back, there's two more speakers after that this afternoon. Um, then we have our business meeting, the, the official AGM. And following immediately after that, the presentation of the Sue Stokes Award. Um, and so we hope that you'll stay and, and uh, su support that. Um, that's probably all I need to say at the moment, and I'll hand back to Alastair to introduce our first speaker. And uh, do enjoy yourself, and thank you very much for coming. <laughs> 